Todd, kind of a follow-up in our previous discussion about creating content. We all know that these days kind of LinkedIn is on the top of horizon. Everyone is posting then and liking or I have a review or I'm working and I'm telling. And also you post a video about that, that creating on LinkedIn three to four times a day, your engagement numbers were up, you're getting more likes and even businesses. So yep. what tips you have for job seekers? Again, they are not used to on LinkedIn or they just like or put a very small comment. What can they do better? Yeah, I mean, I think with LinkedIn, a big part of it is there's a, there's a, couple, di there's a couple things that are really interesting about LinkedIn. So um, one of the things is you can actually, so you, following hashtags on LinkedIn is, is a really cool way to grow your following. So I'll get notifications on specific hashtags that I'm very, very interested in. So like restaurant marketing, because we work for a lot of restaurants. So that hashtag, LinkedIn will actually send me a notification saying that this particular post that has hashtag restaurant marketing in it um, is doing well. You should comment into this and engage with it. And I do. And then all of a sudden, like the next thing you know, like I'll try, I'll, I'll try to put a lot of good value into the comment that I put in instead of just a small comment or be something vi valuable to them. I'll get like two, two, 300 people following me just from that. So for LinkedIn, engagement is key, right? Also, follow as many people as you can. So a lot of the times what we'll do is like, we'll follow, like it's, we, we almost use it like Facebook and Instagram, right? Like if we don't have a purse, if we don't have a personal touch with that person at one point, we won't follow them because we don't want them to think we're a creeper or something like that. <laughs> yeah. LinkedIn's the other side of that. Like just spend 20 minutes and just follow, follow, follow. And those people, I'm dead serious. Like most of them will not ignore it. They'll follow you back and it will start creating all these different opportunities for you. It is such a powerful platform that is so massively underutilized by people. It's yeah. not even funny. A lot of the people that have been off LinkedIn over the last maybe like two, 24 months, somewhere around there, if they were to jump back on LinkedIn, they would find that it is extremely similar to Facebook in, in points of um, engagement in the how you engage with a post, what they're seeing in the feed. Because when we were first, you know, when, when you and I probably first got on LinkedIn, yeah. um, it was all business stuff, right? It wasn't really like you couldn't you couldn't post something of like your you and your kid like hanging out, right? You couldn't you, you would get you would get like sauced by somebody. They would be like, keep that on Facebook. We don't want to see that. And now our age group, our age demographic, has deemed it okay to yeah. share, share personal achievements mm -hmm. and family achievements and things of that nature on that platform. So it has become a full on social media platform. It's no longer. Uh, what it was generally created for. And I believe LinkedIn is a platform that listens to its users. And so yeah. when the users say, we would like to see this, they're doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm really, really excited about LinkedIn. I mean, dude, it came out of the, it literally came out of right field about two and a half years ago yeah. with a lot of the updates that it did. And it's become an extremely powerful tool. But if you don't start doing something with it right now, mm -hmm. you're going to fall into the weeds just like you did on Facebook mm -hmm. and how your Facebook account is probably underachieving now at this point because it's such a saturated um, atmosphere. Yeah. So LinkedIn is just, it's just a massive opportunity, man. I mean, you have no idea. None of us would ever be out of a job, in my personal opinion, um, if, if we had LinkedIn and we properly and consistently used it. Yeah. I also believe it is the most transparent way to find out about someone, um, uh, getting recommendations from influent, influent people. Um, it really breeds a lot of, of social proof um, when people are searching for you and whether or not to do business with you. Um, so I, I, tr I truly believe that it's just a platform that is, is just extremely valuable today. Uh, and a great way to kind of show yourself and present yourself to uh, anyone that you're trying to do business with. Yeah. Especially when they started doing LinkedIn Live. That's mm -hmm. why it was instantly becoming a trend also. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I actually applied for that and I think I got it. I think I, think I was able to get it, uh, but I haven't gone live from there yet. I really don't go live that much. Mm -hmm. um, which again is another thing that I'm changing in 2020. I'm planning on going live. Um, I think I asked the questions. I think you actually even answered. Yeah. Um, I'm planning on trying to go live on like Sundays at like 
you know, five, six o'clock yeah. um, when everybody's kind of just like bored, like they're literally like just Nothing waiting for Monday and just kind of just having some discussions about around things that maybe people have questions about like, Hey Todd, how can I do this? And it's just a great way I think for me to be able to give back to, to my community. That's great. And we will be looking forward to that in 2020. Yeah. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of creating content or LinkedIn tips, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, like and share the video and tune in tomorrow for another question we talk.